MBA from Mount St. Mary's University in LA, and he has an MA in Catholic Theology, so at Franciscan University in Steubenville. So that's pretty awesome. And he's, re he's a recipient of the Archbishop Fulton Sheen Award. He is the Fullness of Truth uh, Defender of Faith Award. And he has the Sports Faith International Award. So he, he's, he's done a lot. And he's been on Catholic Radio for 12 years. For those who were here about five years ago, Jesse spoke at the men's conference at Prince of Peace, I think it was, when you were here. So, and, so this, he, he's returning to us. Um, Jesse does, he does Catholic radio. He has talk show every day. So if you're, if you're on uh, Catholic radio, which we all should be, then you'll be hearing Jesse. My name is Jesse Romero. I am the Latin lover of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Latin lover of our Lady. Let me begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open up my lips so that my mouth may proclaim your praises. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'm going to give you guys this morning problem, solution. Problem, solution. Here's one of the problems. Today, in the Catholic Church, unfortunately, and by the way, the Catholic Church is the true church started by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Okay? Uh, that's a, that's, a, that's a fact of history. But nonetheless, the devil has gone after the Catholic Church in a very real way. What do I mean by that? There was an article that came out two weeks ago based on a survey that said in the United States of America, guess what? Of all the religions in the U.S., Catholics believe less in the existence of the devil than all the other religions in the United States. I don't know about you, but that's embarrassing. And I don't know about you, but that's scandalous. That's scandalous. As Catholics, the problem oftentimes in the church is cafeteria Catholicism. Catholics pick and choose what they want to believe. Let me share with you what I believe is a prophetic statement made by somebody, I don't know if he's Catholic or not, obviously the way he speaks, he's a follower of Christ. His name is Paul Harvey. He said this about 50 years ago, but what he says really speaks directly to the present time that we live in. Paul Harvey, may he rest in peace, he probably has no idea how prophetic his message was. Pay attention. It's called, If I Were the Devil, by Paul Harvey. If I were the devil, I would gain control of the most powerful nation in the world. I would delude their minds into thinking that they had come from man's effort instead of God's blessing. If I were the devil, I would promote an attitude of loving things and using people instead of the other way around. Makes me think right now about the casting couch in Hollywood, huh? Using people. Paul Harvey says, if I were the devil, I would dupe entire states into relying on gambling for their state revenue. If I were the devil, I would con convince people that character is not an issue when it comes to leadership. If I were the devil, I would convince... Uh, I would make it legal to take the life of unborn babies. If I were the devil, I would make it socially acceptable to take one's own life and invent machines to make it convenient. If I were the devil, I would cheapen human life as much as possible so that the life of animals are valued more than human beings. If I were the devil, I would take God out of the schools where even the mention of his name was grounds for a lawsuit. If I were the devil, I would come up with drugs that sedate the mind and target the young and would get sports heroes to advertise them. If I were the devil, I would get control of the media so that every night I could pollute the mind of every family member for my agenda. 
If I were the devil, I would attack the family, the backbone of any nation. If I were the devil, I would make divorce acceptable and easy, even fashionable. If the family crumbles, so does the nation. If I were the devil, I would compel people to express their most depraved fantasies on canvas and movie screens. And I would call it art. If I were the devil, I would convince the world that people are born homosexuals and that their lifestyles should be accepted and marveled at. If I were the devil, I would convince the people that right and wrong are determined by a few who call themselves authorities and refer to their agenda as politically correct. If I were the devil, I would persuade people that the church is irrelevant and out of date and that the Bible is for the naive. If I were the devil, I would dull the minds of Christians and make them believe that prayer is not important and that faithfulness and obedience are optional. If I were the devil, I guess I would leave, I would leave things pretty much the way they are.